Hi, I'm Shane. I'm with H2O Leader. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to remove membranes and replacing them in our, one of our micros. Some people think this is a complicated job, but it's actually a really easy job. First thing you want to do is make sure you've got the tools. I'd like to have some food grade grease, a pair of vice grips, 13 millimeter ratchet, 13 millimeter wrench, flathead screwdriver, and a box cutter. So our first step, we got to remove these caps. We're going to take our 13 millimeter ratchet and our 13 millimeter wrench. We're going to loosen those bolts up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pry these caps off and I like to use a flathead screwdriver for that. You just want to try to get them underneath, go from one side to the other and just gently keep pushing, working your way back and forth. And once you get it up enough, it should pop right out of there. In this case, the membrane is coming out. Set that down. Same to the other side. And there's our membranes. So what I like to do is just grab these guys, get them started, pull them out. Once you do, put those down, grab the membrane, take them out. Now the next step is we got to open our membranes. I'm going to use a box cutter, but you want to be careful not to go too deep. Just score the top of each box. You should be able to pull those right apart. We'll take those out of the box. And some of them, there's gonna be this little fitting in there and those go to a different membrane housing. It's nothing that we need. So just discard that. Now again, these are in a vacuum sealed bag. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna score it, let some of that air out of there. Just go down through the side. Same thing with the next one. Now, as you can see, these have a U-cup on them. And the U-cup on this particular one is facing up. Same with that membrane, it'll be facing up. You wanna make sure that these are in the right position. The right position is where the flow comes out of the top pump. This is your second pump, the flow comes out. So when we add the first membrane, we wanna make sure that this U-cup is facing up. So when that liquid goes in, it expands that U-cup around the membrane housing and directs everything through the membrane. Before I install this in there, I'd like to just take a little bit of food grade grease, go around the brine seal. Little food grade grease on the permeate tube, top and bottom. Now this membrane is ready to install. So again, this is gonna be going into membrane one, U-cup up. Just make sure that's in there. So membrane two, same thing, we wanna grease the brine seal up.
a little bit of grease on the permeate tube. Now on membrane two, the brine seal is gonna go down because the liquid is going through the first membrane on the top and it's coming out the bottom of the first membrane and going into the second membrane in the bottom and coming up through the top and back out. This one's gonna go in a little bit trickier, but it's still very easy. Once you get it started, just slide it down nice and gently. And that's it. Membranes are installed. So the next thing to do, we're just gonna look over our O-rings real quick. Usually there's nothing wrong with the O-rings, they're fine. There's a little bit of grease. Just put a little bit of grease on those, the inside, that'll make it go on a whole lot easier. You're gonna take membrane cap one, gently just push it down in, it'll engage. Same thing with membrane cap two. Just give it a quick look over. Everything looks fine, a little grease. Gently push down in. Caps are on. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our locking rings back on. Go from one side to the other, try to keep them equally spaced. Once you get them snug, we'll move on to the next one. I just like to make sure these are oriented hex cap out. Then you're gonna grab your 13 millimeter wrench and your ratchet. And now that you have your membranes in, the last thing you wanna do before you concentrate with this machine is you wanna give it a good rinse. 10 minutes or so, a wash, another rinse, and then you're ready to concentrate. And that completes a changeover of membranes. For any of your additional questions, or if you need to source membranes, reach out to your local H2O leader dealer, and they will help you out.